We can't tell you how proud we are of you guys. You know, we played our ass off. You're a hell of a hockey team, and it takes everybody. And that's what I love more important. Playing a game for a living is a fantasy that for them has come true. But that's not to say that it's a fantasy devoid of certain realities. Really? Good leadership, Particularly so close to the pinnacle of their dreams. Particularly when they get this far in their remarkable quest. It's why every shift, every hit, Chances head into the glass. Every shot is so critical. It's why the exhilaration of every celebration is accompanied by the devastation of every demise. It's tough to swallow, but if you know that the heart's in here and the, the ability's in there, we just come up short. Now only two remain. Let's get a move. Stay on them. These guys have been waiting a long time. Now, the only ones keeping them from the ultimate fantasy are one another. Two teams left in the quest for the 2016 Stanley Cup. One is familiar with the traditions of victory. The other, in its 25th season, reaching the top of the sport for the first time. For the San Jose Sharks, a high-powered offense starts with a playoff's leading goal scorer. Pavelski fires, he scores! Yeah! While their defense, anchored by goalie Martin Jones, has silenced some of the best players in the league. Few NHL teams have the speed, depth, and star power to match the Pittsburgh Penguins. But on a team littered with big names, one stands out. Ross delays to Crosby, stop! You may Just a couple of months ago, 22-year-old Matt Murray was still in the minor leagues. Now he's the starting goalie for the Pittsburgh Penguins and enjoying all that comes with it. This is where I've been living for, I guess, uh, a couple months now. My first call up, I was actually in just your basic hotel room with uh, one bed and a tiny little bathroom. So this is definitely a step up from that. You go for dinner or something and, and somebody will recognize you. I know Yesterday, the chef sent me a free appetizer when he saw me walk into the restaurant, so stuff like that is kind of nice, and it's a nice perk. I don't have enough rank to park inside the parking structure yet, so I gotta park out here. <laughs> when you play in Pittsburgh, you know you have an entire city behind you. You can look at it as pressure or I just kind of see it as the whole city really wants us to win. Murray isn't the only Penguin whose presence changed the team in his first year. Ten years after he last coached in the NHL, longtime assistant Mike Sullivan took over as Pittsburgh's head coach in December and promptly transformed a talented but temperamental team into a Stanley Cup contender. I've been associated with this league 26 years. This is the first time I've been in the Stanley Cup Finals. It just goes to show you how hard it is to get there. I'm fortunate to have been put in this position to have an opportunity to work with this group. I certainly don't take one day for granted, I'll tell you that. It's, uh, it's, been a great, it's been a great challenge, and for me, it's real exciting. You know, we've got a great group of players. They've really uh, come together as a team. 
they're, they're fun to watch right now. With more than 700 media members from a dozen countries, the frenzy that accompanies Media Day on Sunday can be overwhelming, even to the most grizzled of veterans, like Joe Thornton of the San Jose Sharks. So we just go from, from block to block kind of thing? So yeah, so you're going to score on TBA, and then you'll go and do a 15 minute sit down with NBC. It's not actually Pierre, though. All right. And then you go and do a live on the set with NHL Network, and then you're doing the pods, and then you're done. Ooh. Super easy, easy right? Easy. In and out. I can handle that. Yeah. How you doing? Wow. Oh, yeah. Congrats. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank wow, you. Awesome. Thank you. I just got a burn on my hand. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Can we get some oh, yeah. He's hot. Man, that is impressive. I'll <laughs> say from up close, it's something. <laughs> you look like a pretty hairy guy. You can get something. <laughs> We've now played more Stanley Cup playoff games than we have regular season games in the yeah. NHL. That's a bit of a weird stat, <laughs> but I like that one. This moment has been a long time coming for you. Is it everything you imagined it oh, would yeah. be? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's incredible, you know, we've been, I've been waiting 18 years, San Jose uh, Sharks as a whole has been waiting for 25 years, so to be here, uh, what a feeling, it's our first birth, birth in the finals, it's, uh, you realize how hard you, you got to work to get to this point, and, you know, yeah, we won the West, you know, great, but there's, you know, a big trophy that we still need to get. This is the first time I've ever been to a finals in any league, uh, at any level, so, um, yeah, I'm excited, I'm looking forward to it, and uh, I'm anxious to get going. Yeah. Oh, respect. You look great, huh? Pete, uh, is there a sense of what this means to this franchise and the San Jose community being at this stage of the, of the playoffs for the first time? The, those things are for for later. You know, the the business at hand now is is to get off on the right foot. You know, plant the right seeds for this series, impose our game. You know. I, Every series is the same. It's whatever team can impose their game on the other team the quickest and for the longest. And that's our goal here. For the first time since the Penguins last won the Cup in 2009, Pittsburgh will play host to a game in the Stanley Cup final. And on Monday, the city is more than ready. There is no other city that is fortunate as we are in Pittsburgh to have the sports teams that we have. The crowd support in this town is good as anywhere. Really fantastic team. It's a pretty good time to be a sports fan in Pittsburgh. Let's do it for the Pittsburgh people. From Pittsburgh, it's the Stanley Cup final featuring the San Jose Sharks and the Pittsburgh Penguins. People are here to celebrate their team and to cheer them on to victory, something that hasn't happened in a Stanley Cup within the city limits of Pittsburgh ever before. Out in San Jose, 25 years of history, they have never been in a Stanley Cup final. Think of what it would be like if they won a championship in their city. Hey, let's frustrate their skill here right off the bat. Nobody gets off the hook here. We belong here. Let's make sure we bring our A game. They don't have an answer if we bring our A game here. You've worked your asses off to get to this point, right? We have to have control of the motion. We need laser focus. Regardless of what happens out there, good or bad, we just play. That's what we've done all season. Let's play fast, let's play fearless, and let's have a relentless attack here, all right? Let's go get game one. Lots of talk, boys, lots of talk. Play fast, play fast. Yeah. Welcome to the 2016 Stanley Cup fight featuring the San Jose Sharks and your Pittsburgh Penguins. Here we go, gang. Be ready to play here. Over, hard, hard. Up, 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 up. A little grind early here. A little grind early. Keep him down there. Hey, go, hey. Behind you, Sid. Get inside that support. There we go. Get on the force, Jack, here. Good battle, good battle. We're done. <laughs> Not really doing anything. Oh, he's got to get out, though. Come on, you oh, come. Let's go. Up, ah, go, drive, drive. Get, set. get up on them. For most of the first period, the Penguins control the ice. Their pressure yielding many chances. But San Jose's defense stands up to the challenge until an unlikely playoff star puts the Penguins on top. Schultz a shot knocked out. Rush scores! Rush hot as a firecracker. Yeah! 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 Third guy, get in there. 
A good shot. Hang on to that puck. This is where you got to make them play. And just a minute later, it's the captain who comes through. Get it through. And this one goes back down, and Crosby will win the race to it. Crosby able to scoop it away. It's to Sherry. Score! Sidney Crosby has made a couple of incredible plays in this first period, and Connor Sherry goes top shelf on Martin Jones. That's it on the first period, and it's all Penguins right now. For the overpowered Sharks, the first intermission offers a reprieve. A time to regroup in hopes of changing the momentum. The Penguins, however, head back to the ice, looking to continue the dominant pace they set in the first. San Jose, they've yet to see a team that can play this quick and have the speed of the Pittsburgh Penguins. It's just a matter of time before San Jose finds their stride. Our period here, our period. I think it's going to be easy. They got no idea here. Let's go. The Sharks dictate the early play, and just a minute in, they finally get the break they've been waiting for. A penalty is coming up, and this one will be against the Penguins. An opportunity for a very, very good power play coming up for San Jose. You can't play off them. Stay in their face. Feather to pass over for Donskoy. Donskoy side of the net. Hurdle tried to jam it, and he scores! Hey, Tommy. They have scored on the power play. It is two to one in favor of the Penguins on a goal by the Sharks. They're a good team too, hey? They're a good team too here. We're gonna be fine. We can't handle our pressure when we're skating like this. Let's go. Stay with it here, gang. Stay with it. The biggest series of the year holds a certain weight. And in a game that both teams want more than anything else, San Jose starts to impose its will. Big tough guy, eh? The tying goal comes with just two minutes left in the second from the stick of a man who has waited 18 years to get here. Around for the wraparound attempt, score! It's Marlowe, and the game is tied! Right, Patty! Hey, it's not gonna be easy, let's go! We got it! We got it! The third period is pure Stanley Cup hockey, with both teams battling for the go-ahead goal each testing the other's goaltender time and again. Pass intercepted, then knifed around in front. Save, rebound. Oh, and way out was Murray. It's pulled back off of him by Hurdle. Who's in the middle? Come on, boy. Go, go, go. go. Save made by Jones. Drive, getting a piece of it with Murray. Crazy action right now. Rust oh. there, oh, he was shouldered out of the way by Marlowe, and there'll be a penalty coming up here. Can't hit like that, you don't want to get hit like that. Rusty's out. I, I think it's that hit. In the final minutes of the game, the Penguins' intense pressure finally proves too much for the Sharks to handle. But the Sharks get one last chance, a power play that turns into a two-man advantage when San Jose pulls Jones from the net. You two guys are up next. You're probably going to be six on four. He's coming now, and the Penguins can shoot it at will down the ice. Bedlam here. Eight seconds left on the power play to the last 15. Two seconds and one. The Penguins have won it. I think our players are well aware of how we have to play in order to play to our strengths and play to our identity. And the speed is always a part of it where we put our opponents under pressure. You know, we certainly didn't want to we didn't want to go into this series um, with a wait and see approach. We wanted to try to go out and dictate the terms. And, uh, and I thought our guys did that tonight. I think everyone felt it out there tonight that it was uh, another level. And, you know, for us, being able to start here at home and getting the start we did was, was good, you know, to get that energy and, you know, get rid of some of those nerves. So, um, 
it helps a lot when you're able to get some confidence early and, and generate some things. There's nothing that I saw tonight that, that I'm going out of here thinking that, you know, we can't come out and, and play much better on our end. This isn't going to be easy. I don't, you know, you don't get to this point and have any easy night. So, you know, we know game two is going to be tough. I think we can be a lot better. It's the morning after the Penguins' game one win, and Matt Cullen is heading out to practice. With him are his three boys, who are not just along for the ride. Today, like every day all season, the Cullen boys are headed to school at a unique location, the Penguins' practice facility. Seeing them at the rink, and, and likewise, they get to see me doing what I do. And um, they're at the age where they'll remember it, and, and I think they appreciate it a little bit. There it is. Hi, Jessica. Good morning. Good morning. You got some wild boys. Hey, love you. See you, buddy. Okay, to start, I'll talk to you later. You hey, see you. Later at practice, there is another visitor, George Sullivan, the proud father of the Penguins' head coach. Here we go. Play. It's a real thrill for me to see what he's done. He's worked hard since he's been that high. You know, he's finally come and pay off for him. Ready? Here we go! Oh! I told these guys when I first took the team over that we have some great players. Our challenge is to find a way to become a great team. And I've watched this team over the last five months evolve into a great team. And for me, there's nothing more rewarding than to watch that happen. Hey, Phil, lock it down! Lock it down! They're hungry for it, uh, as I'm sure San Jose is too. And that's what makes I think the Stanley Cup Finals as exciting an experience as it is here in the world. Good job today. The position he's in now is amazing, you know? It seems like it's just meant to be. The next day, as the Sharks head to the arena for game two, they are keenly aware that of the last 49 teams to lose the first two games of the cup final, only five have come back to win the series. Three times in these 2016 playoffs, the Pittsburgh Penguins have left game two with the series tied. But tonight, even before they attempt to break that trend, they are excited by a new arrival. His best moment, I think, in my life, you know, I have a child right now, you know, it's, uh, he's uh, healthy, it's, uh, it's all good, it's, uh, he, I hope he give me a little bit more power, and uh, now we play final, it's two best moments in my life. While there is joy in Pittsburgh's locker room, across the hall there is a touch of sadness. In the hours before game one, San Jose defenseman Justin Braun learned of the passing of his father-in-law, former NHL star Tom Lysiak. He will play in game two tonight and then leave for the funeral in Atlanta. All right, man, here we go. We don't dip our toe in the water here tonight. We jump in with both feet. Let's go, foot on the gas, puck in there, and let's go to work here for 60 minutes. We've got to have a good start. Everybody's got to be ready to play. Okay, we talked about discipline. Let's check with our legs and not our sticks. Let's not allow their power play to be the difference. Okay, we talked about playing that 201 foot game. Everybody in here has got to play the extra foot. We have got to be the hungrier team. That's the key to this game. Let's be ready to play. Well, I'm not gonna say this too often, but I got a feeling for my oh. Are you kidding? Oh, here we go, Chelsea. From Pittsburgh, it's Stanley Cup Final, game two. Who has learned the most since Monday? We'll find out. I bet you thought that I would lay down and die. Whoa, no! Unlike game one, at the start of game two, it's the Sharks who are sharp and aggressive, and their persistence nearly pays off before the game is yet two minutes old. Turning and spinning one around in front and kick back into Matt Murray, and he holds on. There we go, inside and heavy. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I know. But with rookie Brian Rust on the ice, soon it's the Penguins who are back in control, their speed and tenacity apparent. Oh, and hitting the post. 
was Kunitz with the shot! Go, go, go! Big, big, big! After taking only six shots in the first period, the Sharks head into the first intermission knowing they will need to pick up the pace in the second, while the Penguins are intent on continuing what's worked so far. Here we go, Murray, stay play, baby. We got a pressure, we got a pressure. Go, go, go. Oh, I'm on Be ready. All right, harder on the puck here. Help him. And a sweep right around in front went off the post from Tomas Hurdle. Almost this was one to nothing Sharks. As the second period begins, the drama continues as both teams race back and forth up the ice. But again, it's Pittsburgh that gets the first goal of the night. Benino, side of the net, score! Cancel! And what a creative play by Benino. one nothing Pittsburgh. HPK bringing it. Carl Hagel goes top shelf off the bar. Kessel's goal seems to energize the Penguins, and their relentless pressure keeps the Sharks on the defensive, limiting San Jose to just five shots on goal for the period. Busy! 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 Yeah. The Genny Malkin and his offensive brilliance, the spinning backhander, tough save opportunity for Jones. Hurry! Hurry! Off the outside of the cage on the drive by Pavelski the horn here in Pittsburgh third period about to start come on we got to go back at him here well aware of what a loss would mean to their fate the Sharks come out strong in the third and are rewarded with some of their best chances of the night let's go to work here backhanded one that skipped across off of Murray come on man we're down here but the Penguins match San Jose's effort and nearly put the game out of reach Dropped it off to Benino, then to Kessel. Hits the post with the shot! Good play. Good deep, good deep. Go, Chess, go, go! Hit in the middle! In the middle! Stay with it here. Like, this is our game right here! Finally, just minutes from going down two games to none, the Sharks break through. And it comes from the player carrying a heavy heart. Oh, we're one shot away here. Let's go! Braun a shot. He scores! Off the post and in, Justin Braun ties the game up at one. What a response by the San Jose Sharks. Game's right here for us. Battle through. Keep playing. We've been here before. Give it all. Give it all. Go, go. Go, 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 go. Everything to the net. Everything to the net. That's it. Get in. Get in. Get there. 60 have been played, and it has not been adequate to decide this one. Before the overtime, the mood in each room is surprisingly pensive. The player is absorbed with the notion that tonight, from here on in, there will be no second chances. Here we go, boys, hey? We'll play all night if we have to, hey? Play till two in the morning. Oh, yeah. I got nothing to do tonight. It may only be game two, but the next goal just might be the most important of their lives. Martin Jones is 0-3 in OT all this year. Matt Murray is 3-1 in OT all this year. Come on, we gotta go back at him here. Get on the hunt here. Keep pushing, eh? Let's go to work here. Hey, hey, don't worry about it. We're good. Quick up, quick up, quick up, quick up. After so many weeks of this odyssey, so much harder in progress, to get so close to the pinnacle and suddenly find yourself staring at such adversity. It is no doubt jarring. A shot, he then again, they always knew, whatever the results, 
would leave no room for more than one team to revel in. In this final stage of this most brutal test, the Penguins are now halfway to the ultimate goal. Hey, great job. Great job. We were the better team all night. We just got to stay with it, okay? It's a huge win. We're going to travel to San Jose, and then we're going to go there and do what we do. All right? Great job. But those of them who've been here before and who've proven themselves again and again worthy of the stage know that when the stakes rise highest, predictability seems to lose its power. It's a premise the Sharks can cling to as they head home. The notion that fate might treat them better in friendlier confines. The idea that momentum is exceedingly reversible. The hope that better tomorrows will be part of their saga yet. After so many weeks, so many games, so much work, one is hoping the end is near, the other is looking for a jarring turn and a whole new beginning to revel in.